Hello everyone, welcome back to, m um, a tribute to painting. This is episode 13 of my series where I'm recreating paintings by Bob Ross. We are now getting into season 2. I went ahead and, um, skipped the last episode of season 1 just because it was mostly him answering questions. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the entire canvas in a layer of titanium white. Alright, I will get back to you after I do that. And we're gonna start today with a bit of blue on, on our brush. Make sure that you've got an even amount throughout your entire brush. And we're gonna start making our sky. It should go about up here. And we're just gonna start adding it. And as you can see, the, uh, the colors get dark, get, um, lighter as you go out because of the paint that you already have on the canvas. If you don't have paint already on the canvas, then the color isn't going to get any lighter. It's just gonna get more, um, satch, get, um, the opacity is just gonna lower, I think, is what you would call it. And now you're gonna, take your fan brush and you're gonna just load it full of um titanium white paint and we're just gonna go wherever we want our clamp to be and we're just gonna start making little circles you want to be um very quick with this so that you don't end up with it being too much of one specific shape because that's not what you want these are clouds they're no two clouds are alike they're a little bit like snowflakes and then you take your big brush and we're just gonna blend this out down here at the bottom without touching the top bit slick at all. Just like that. And your clouds are already looking a lot better. And next we take brown, blue, and just a little bit of red. And we're gonna go up maybe about here. And we're just gonna push this super, super, super much into the canvas. Just, just a lot gonna be pushed down so much that you're never gonna get it out of the canvas you, you don't want it to get out of the canvas you want it to be there and you're gonna want it to stay there and you're gonna take another brush and we're just gonna bring it down a little bit just a little bit though you want it to be more distinct at the top but you still want to be able to um you want to be able to see that it's one mass so you might want to just once you've straight, once you've, um, brought it down, you might just want to do a little bit of tap tappery just so that it's a little bit more, so that it's more of a transition from the, um, the full color to the brought down color. And next we'll take some titanium white, where we're going to make some snow, and it's just going to go about there, and it's just going to go flow right down the mountain, just like that. Next we take the white mixed with a little bit of blue, and it's just going to gonna go if we're basically pretty much everywhere that there isn't snow just like this and you've already got some shadow going on isn't it amazing that you can just create shadow just like that out of simulating nothing just like that you got shadow once you have all your mountain peaks and whatnot you're just gonna so that it's more distinct on the top we're just going to tap, tap, tap the bottom bit here to halfway blend it in. Maybe make it look a little bit misty here at the bottom. And once you get your mountain done, you're gonna take some green and just load your brush full of green. Make sure it's a, make sure it's the same distribution throughout. And then we're just gonna take it and we're gonna push up. Oh look, take it and we're gonna push up. Just like this. And once you have your green done, you're going to take a little bit of blue and you're just going to start using it over here. And you're going to make the um, front bits more dark than the rest. If you mix in a little bit of another color, it's okay. I mean, it's your world. You can make it look wherever you want. And maybe, maybe you'll realize it looks better than what you thought it would be. And maybe you decide to make it hard if you're whole piece. Who knows? All right, and now we what we're going to do, we're going to go back here a little bit, and we're going to start building a couple of trees, maybe some evergreens. So we're just going to figure out where we want our tree to be, and then using the side of the fan brush, we just start building our tree. And I want to make sure you've got a lot of paint on your fan brush, especially on the tip. And just like that, you'll have a tree. Tune enough. 
and right next to it we'll add a tree, maybe make it a little bit taller. And it'll come out to about here and we just start adding it. And boom, just like that you've got some trees. Now instead of taking 50 years to add every each individual tree, what we're doing now is we're just going to add like indications of trees. You can, you can tell that they're there, but you don't want to look too close, otherwise they start to like just smudges of paints, but they're there, they're just in the background, you know? So you get the basic part done, we're just going to take a little, add a little bit of white to our color. And uh, we're just gonna maybe add some um, happy little bushes or little bits of growing things here in between the trees and whatnot. They're just sort of growing wherever they want to, they're growing wherever they see fit, and you just tap them out onto your canvas from out of your brush. You know what, we're just gonna add a little bit of yellow there too. You know, make it a bit, add some highlights and whatnot. Because, you know, happy little bushes, they... They love yellow. They're, they're, there's lots of yellow in our happy little bushes. And now we'll take our palette knife, just season the tip, and we're gonna cut some tree trunks here and there and everywhere. You know, just, you don't even need any pay on your rush for this one. You're just gonna wanna cut through it and just add some trunks and whatnot. And next you take your fan brush and we're gonna make a tree to those two up about here. And we're gonna just start building it. To come out about here, maybe be thinner up here as it comes up and it just goes up here and it comes down to there and we're gonna go ahead maybe put another tree right up here we'll just go up here and then you guys think this one is robert or maybe it's bobbert who knows maybe it's another character you know i'd mentioned that in another episode this could be it what do you think this one could be named you're gonna really load your brush, brush full of paints and using basically the same color. We're just gonna start adding some leafy trees and stuff just right about here. Maybe one or two types over here. Or maybe these are more of bushes than leafy trees. But you know what? It's gonna look whatever it's gonna look. Maybe we'll add one or two little ones right around here. We'll take some brown and we're just gonna lay in some trunks here and there. Just down here maybe about there and then we'll put one or two here and here and we'll put some in our trees down here too once you have your trunks and whatnot down you can just maybe go in here and add some indications of where the uh where the leaves and whatnot might be i'll just put it here and there and here there and everywhere and we'll take a bit of red and yellow and we're just gonna maybe add a bit of highlight here and there. Gotta make, gotta worry, make sure that you don't have maybe like too much, um, too much paint on your brush when you do this. But, um, you just wanna add some highlights here and there. Maybe this is like fall. We'll just add them wherever we see them fit. And we just add a tiny bit here in the background, maybe just a little bit. We'll take a little bit of the color we used here, and we're just gonna add some here at the base of the trees. Just like this. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our brush, and we're just gonna pull down some. Can you tell what we're doing? If you can, it's okay. We're, uh, we're starting to make a pond, just right here. And we're just gonna take our bit of blue, maybe this might be a little bit too much, and we're just gonna start adding some here. Oh, it's just, um, to make the water look a little bit deeper, maybe. I'm just gonna take the color we had here, I'm just gonna add a little bit back, just so that it's a bit less, it's a bit easier to tell what it is, I guess. Now we take a bit of white, and we're just gonna add a little bit of a water vine, just going right along in here. And now we're just gonna add back a couple of bushes, one or two maybe about here, just like this, and boom, you've got a lake. I'm gonna take some brown and white, and we're just gonna add a little bit right over here and then suddenly we've got a bit of a bank just in here and we'll take a bit of white just here and we're just gonna add a little bit more of a waterline just coming off here you know what we're gonna add a little bit just in here maybe it's like foam and a little bit here and once our painting is pretty much done, we're gonna take a smaller brush this time 
We're we'll try and uh, we're just gonna sign it. All right, this might take me a little bit longer than usual, and it should just go right about there. You can sign it wherever you want, but I'm just gonna do it about here. Okay, this is the finished piece. I think my paintings are slowly getting better and better, even if not by like leaps and bounds. And I really hope that you can see that if you're painting along, you're improving too. No matter how small of a painting that you're doing, even if you, if you're just painting in general, you're improving. Okay, I bet you're doing great. All right. I hope I can see you tomorrow with the next episode of A Tribute to Painting. Alright, like and subscribe. Goodbye.